Thank you, Veronica. The Pennsylvania Game Commission is investigating a viral video shared yesterday. It's said to depict two local teenagers who appear to be abusing a wounded deer. Our Amanda Lee went to the hometown of the teens identified as the two in the video to see what people had to say. She joins us now from Brookville. Amanda. Charlotte, the Pennsylvania Game Commission is still investigating this, so no one is in trouble yet. However, the Brookville residents I spoke to today say they know the teens in the video and have some strong opinions about it. A video posted Saturday night on social media shows two teens kicking a wounded deer in the face. An act that folks in Brookville say happened on opening day of deer season. The video went viral and Facebook users from all over are saying things like, these young men need to be taught a lesson and this is so heartbreaking. On Sunday morning, some Facebook users created a petition calling for criminal charges against both teens for the torturing of innocent wildlife. As of Sunday night, the petition had about 58,000 supporters. But some folks in Brookville say it's hunting season and this is considered normal. Uh, we're in Redneckville, Pennsylvania. It, people go possum stomping. It's nothing different than that. It's wrong, yes, but you can't control other people. Zach Lash is another Brookville local and an employee at a gun shop. He's appalled by what happened in the video. D disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I've never seen anything like that around here with people that I knew. He says he knows one of the young men and didn't think he would do something like this. Zach is a seasoned hunter and he believes most hunters know to respect the animals they kill. He says that if you shoot a deer and it doesn't die, shoot it again, put it out of its misery. still getting lots of attention tonight. WTAJ has chosen not to show any part of it. The PA Game Commission is calling the acts in the video reprehensible and they continue their investigation. Here in Jefferson County, WTAJ News, Amanda Lee.